Hello friends, welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to see how we can uh, broadcast a message or broadcast an entire object uh, from API to multiple hubs. Okay, so let's start with the video tutorial. So here I have taken .NET 6 Blazor server app and in this index.h razor page, we are going to add few lines of code and also in this blazor server app we are going to add a api so add a new project and let's take asp.net core web api and let's name it as demo api click on next and click on create okay so we have the server app and the api now what we have to do is like simply we have to add two libraries for this blazor uh, server app we're going to add signal our client so we can click on manage NuGet packages and we can select Microsoft signal R uh, ASP.NET Core signal R client so this one you're going to install Microsoft ASP.NET Core signal R client fine and on the API we are going to install only signal r not signal r client so manage sig and here we have the microsoft signal r okay so we're going to install it fine so we have installed the two libraries now in this we are going to add a controller add a new controller and let's name it as employee now we can name it as home controller click on add so we have the home controller and also inside this controller we are going to add a models folder And in this model, we are going to add an employer class. And same way in this Blazor app, also we are going to add a models folder. We can make this as a common as common folder also, but for time being, we are simply and We'll, co we'll copy this employee CS and put it in this model folder and change it to Blazor app one. Okay, so we can uh, we can create a separate project for models and inherit that in both the API and the server app. For time being, we have kept it like this. So in this uh, employee, we'll add few properties. So here I've added three properties: ID, name, and address. The same I'm going to add in the API: ID, name, and address. Fine, let's save everything. Now, in this API, we are going to add a hub, hubs folder. Add new hubs folder. And in this, we are going to add a class. Add a new class. So, here I have the class, and let's name it as signal hub signal hub we can you can name it whatever you want but just keep in mind this name is very very important this because this name we are going to use it while establishing the hub connection so if you are using creating a chatting page you can name it as chat hub if you are creating some uh, uh, business application you can name it as business hub if you are if it if it, if the application is related to some employee and then you can name it as employee hub if it's a notification uh, a real time notification you can name it as notification up so this name is very very important you can simply name as per your requirement click on add so here you have the signal hub now we are going to inherit from the hubs class okay so we have the hub and for this we are going to add the required namespace this one okay so here in the inside this signal hub we are going to add few methods okay broadcast methods so let's add them so here i have created two methods 
one is broadcast employee and one is broadcast message okay let me add the required reference for employee so here i have added demo api.models okay so here if you see this is a method public uh, broadcast employee and it will receive the parameter as employee and the other one is uh, broadcast message okay now if you if you see here this is a method receive employee and receive message this messages will be invoked at client side this is like clients all that means to all the clients send this message or send this uh, broadcast and in order to receive uh, for the client to receive they should use this method name if they want to receive the message then they have to use receive message if they have to receive the employee then they have to uh, the hubs or the clients have to use this method name this is actually a method name and this is the input which uh, this is the object which they are receiving it is an employee object and this is a message object fine so everything looks fine till here now we are going to add this in go in this program class and we are going to add some uh, settings over here so here we can simply reduce this space and the first thing we are going to add is this app dot map hub and we are going to use this demo api dot hubs and we are going to name it as signal hub okay slash signal hub and also in order to use uh, signal r we have to you add the sir signal r service so that we are going to add it here okay so builder dot services add signal r so that's uh, these are the settings from the api now in the home controller we are going to add few methods which will uh, invoke those <coughs> invoke this uh, broadcast invoke this these methods in the hub okay so in the home controller we are going to add those code so here if you see i am creating an object of hub context okay so for that i have to use using microsoft asp core signal r okay so that i have referenced it here now signal hub so for that i have to use demo api dot hubs okay so here in the first line i'm creating an object of hub context and uh, injecting in the injecting it in the controller okay now in this here i have two methods get http get i have used you can use post as well post also you can use now what i'm doing here is like i'm creating an object of employee and whatever are the parameters id name and address that I am assigning to this object and here using the hub context to all the clients send a sync receive employee I am invoking this receive employee and passing the object same goes for the push message and this this is push employee and this is push message ok so here I am just receiving the message and simply pushing it but here if you see this is receive employee this is receive message and if you see this receive employee and receive message this we have defined it here in the signal hub fine so this looks fine now now so these are the settings which need to be done and the api and the hub hub end now what we are going to do is we are going to add the things which are required at the client side so in this index dot index dot razor page we are going to add the require hub settings hub connections so in this code section we are going to add define the code section and in this code section we are going to define four objects Four variables we are going to define so the first is hub connection and for this hub connection we need a uh, this <coughs> uh, we'll have to inject the required uh, signal r library so here we are using this uh, we are adding this namespace for asp.net core signal r the next one is employee so we are referring this models folder then we have a list of string and we have the updated on fine now apart from this we are going to uh, create an on initialize method so let's do that okay so here i have created this on initialize method and in this method i am initializing the employee and the next thing is very important we are using this hub connection to create a hub connection builder and in this hub connection builder we are using with url okay so if with url i am pointing it to a local host and here if you see i am using this word signal hub if you see this signal hub we have defined it here in the api program.cs we have this map hub signal hub 
so this signal hub if it is a chat hub then in this index.razor we have to include chat hub and this is the port number of the api fine so this is in this way we are establish uh, creating the hub uh, hub connection using hub connection builder then <clears throat> once the hub connection builder is used then on that hub connection builder we have to invoke the receiving method so the one method is receive employee another method is a receive message so if we see the receive employee we are receiving an employee object okay and uh, so that incoming employee we are adding it to the list here if you see on this page we have defined a list and whatever incoming employee that like whatever is being broadcast from the api and we are receiving it that employee we are passing it to this employee list and here if you see we have updated on so that updated on we are just defining the uh, date time so that we can uh, show at what time the page got updated then we are again again having the same thing and he, on this sub connection we are using this receive message and it is an incoming message and that we are adding it to the list of string and the rest of the things are same once these are done we are uh, telling the hub connection object to start that hub connection okay this line is very important now we have to know whether the connection has been established or not whether the connection is so for that we have to define a line of code so here i have defined a boolean object okay and hub connection dot state equal to connected if it is connected then this boolean object will be true if it is not connected then it is false so so this object we are going to use to display it on our state on our uh, html page now the coding part is done now let's move to our html part so here on this html part we have the signal r status and this we are using the boolean variable then we have the status updated on it's a string variable then we have a for each loop of the string object so it's a list of string and we are looping it through and displaying the string whatever we are receiving then we have a table okay then we have the table which is like id name and address okay and then we are looping through the employee list and we are uh, whatever is being pushed from the hub and displayed on the client and added to the list is being added to the grid okay with id name and address so let's run both these applications uh, so we'll set both of them as the startup project let's run it so we may get a error because we are not sure what is the port number for the api so let's find that out okay so the port number is 5182 this is actually the swagger uh, configuration we are going we are seeing this because of the swagger configuration if you are not getting this kind of swagger page then you simply have to visit this demo api and in this program.cs file you will see this app.environment is development so we are going to use this app.use swagger and use swagger ui okay if you add these lines of code for our your api then automatically you will get uh, this kind of screen so here if you see it's uh, the port number is 5294 so we'll have to change that so here in our blazor app one we are going to use this 5182 now let's run the okay now if you see signal r status is true that means the connection has been established and uh, there's no incoming message and no incoming employee so what we are going to do is like i'm going to minimize this make it small and uh, and make this one also small and let's add one more
okay so we have now this one we have two uh, parallel connections and both are true if you see this this is also true and this is also true and uh, so let's add the let's add the message first try it out hello world and execute so if you see here we are getting this hello world hello world and the time is also updated now let's hello india execute if you see so so like from the api that's like this two uh, if we see the chat chat engine concept like uh, whenever we develop a signal or chat application in that what we see is like the messages go from this this page to this page okay but here like if we want to uh, uh, there's it's it's like going from this from this client to this client okay but here if you see in this what we are doing is like we are pushing it to multiple clients it's like a broadcast from multiple clients to the from the api to the multiple clients okay from back end we can say so same way we are going to push the employee now try it out employee id 1 name okay address india fine so let's execute so here you see we have got in both these screens we have got the same record okay let's make it mumbai done execute so we have got the two records same so this way from the back end like uh, this api can be called from any of the uh, every second or some concept we can have like uh, you are calling the api every second or every one minute you are some sending some notification something like that so it's like from back end pushing to multiple clients okay so that was it in this video uh, hope you liked it and if you have any queries you can just let me know if you have if you have any requirement to develop any other project or like uh, you, you uh, anything what what you would like to uh, see on my youtube channel you can let me know and uh, i'll be happy to make those videos for you and so that's it for today see you in the next video thank you for watching